Hi there, friends. Today I'm here with my friend Hoppy, and he needs our help. Hello, I'm Hoppy, and I've lost all of my Easter eggs. Please help me hunt for them by using your knowledge of kindergarten math skills. We have to be sure to find them all. You will need to find clues along the way to help us locate the eggs. I know you can do it. Are you ready, friends? We're going to help Hoppy find all of his Easter eggs. Can you help me collect all the Easter eggs? Click on the flag to start the hunt. Do you see a flag anywhere? Ah, there it is. Good eye, friend. How many Easter eggs are shown below? I see a lot of Easter eggs. Do you think we could count them all? We could, you're right. But that would be an awful lot of counting. Let's start by counting the top row and seeing how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine eggs in the top row. Now let's see how many are in our first column, up and down. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten eggs in our first column. I have an idea. We know how to count by tens. So why don't we count by tens and count each column one at a time until we get to the end? That would be much faster than counting by ones, don't you think? So let's count the columns one column at a time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. When we count by tens, we can see that there are 90 eggs. Terrific job! Find our next clue in one of these Easter eggs. Which one do you think it is? We have the pink spotty Easter egg, the Easter egg with the blue stripes, the Easter egg with the pink top, or the Easter egg that is blue and orange. Which one do you think it is? Good guess! Great job! Hoppy is counting the eggs in his basket by groups of 10. 20, 30, 40, blank. What number comes next? Hmm, counting by 10s. We just practiced this skill with our Easter eggs. Good thing we practiced because now we're gonna need it again. We are counting by 10s. Hoppy is starting with 20. So if we count by tens and we start at 20, it would sound like this. 20, 30, 40. What comes next? Should it be 41, 50, 60, or 30? Very good, it should be 50. If we were counting by ones, then 41 would come next. But we're counting by tens, so 10 more than 40 is 50. Your extra special. Click on the Easter egg with a bow to get our next clue. Do you see an Easter egg with a bow? Very good. We have this big Easter egg over here, don't we? You collect six green eggs. Then you collect five yellow eggs. How many green and yellow eggs do you have now? Let's see, we're starting with six and we're adding five more. Let's fist pump six and count on five more to see our answer. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I counted on five more and the last number I said was eleven. That means I must have eleven eggs altogether. But just to check my work, let's count all the eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got it right! Incredible! 
example. Click on the Easter egg to get our next clue. What number comes before 48? 47, 49, 38, or 46? Hmm, when we count, what number comes before eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I heard the number seven come before the number eight. So if seven comes before eight, what would come before 48? 47, you got it. Good thinking. I'm blown away. Click on one of the purple balloons to get our next clue. Do you see any purple balloons? Very good. I'm number 17 in line for the Easter egg relay race. If Angel is behind me, what number is she? Hmm, if I'm number 17, what number comes before 17? Let's count up to 17 and listen for the number that comes just before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I just got to number 17. Let's go back one. What number came just before? 16. But wait a minute. If Angel is behind me, does she come before or does she come after? Oh, goodness gracious. Angel comes after me, doesn't she? If she's behind me in line, so we got to think the other way. What number comes after? after 17. Very good, friends. 18 comes after 17. We can continue counting on one more than 17. Excellent work. Click on my Easter basket to collect more eggs. Do you see her Easter basket? Very good. Use the rabbits to find the total number of rabbits in the number sentence. 10 plus 5 equals blank. I see we have 10 green rabbits plus 5 orange rabbits equals how many rabbits all together? How could we solve this problem? Absolutely, we could count. We could also count on. If I have 10, and I count on five more, that will tell me how many I have all together, like this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I counted on five more and the last number I said was 15. So that means I must have 15 rabbits all together. But let's count just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We were right. Ten plus five equals fifteen. You got it. Click on the ship to collect more Easter eggs. Here we go. Lily is counting flowers and is putting them in piles of ten and counting on. How many flowers does she have total? Well, we know that Lily is putting her flowers in piles of 10 and then counting on some more. So I think that this line at the top is gonna have 10. Let's count to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We were right. So our first group has 10. Now we can start at 10 and count on some more to see how many we have all together like this. 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 flowers all together. Splendid job. Click on the owl to help collect more Easter eggs. Where is our owl? There he is. 
What number comes after 68? Is it 66, 69, 70, or 78? What number comes after 68? Well, let's think. When we count, what number comes after 8? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Very good. So, if 9 comes after 8, what number comes after 68? 69. Very good. Our 10 spot doesn't change, just the 1 when we're counting by 1s. Your hard work makes me so happy. Maybe one of the butterflies can help us find another clue. Do you see any butterflies? Very good. How many Easter eggs are shown below? This looks like it would be a lot of counting. So maybe we can find some groups of 10 and count by tens. Let's start by counting the first row and seeing how many are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We found a group of ten. If each of these rows has a group of ten, that means we can count by ten and count the rows at a time, like this. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. We have sixty Easter eggs all together. You're doing great. Click on the Easter egg to get our next clue. You see one frog in the pond. You see five more frogs in the grass. How many total frogs do you see? Well, let's think. We had one frog in the pond. Hold up one finger. Then we saw five frogs in the grass. Hold up five fingers. And let's see how many fingers we have all together. One, two, Three, four, five, six. One plus five equals six, which means we saw six frogs all together. You've been a big help. I have some exciting news. We've almost got them all. Click on the Ferris wheel to collect our final eggs. You are counting the eggs in your basket. What number comes after 27? Let's think, friends, when we count, what number comes after seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. So, we would count the same way in our twenties. If we say seven, eight, then we would also say twenty-seven, twenty, eight. Very good. So, the number that comes after twenty-seven is 28. We did it! We found all the Easter eggs. Congratulations, you have mastered your kindergarten counting review. Thanks for all of your help. I couldn't have done it without you. Happy Easter! Oh, thank you so much, Hoppy, and thank you so much, friends, for helping us with our Easter egg hunt today. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now!